What is up, everybody? It is the Keyblade Master G26, and this is the first part of my live playthrough on the Black Ops 2 Survival Map Town. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this now. Before I even begin the match, I'm gonna also um, I'm gonna say, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Black Ops 2 gameplay. Also, be sure to show your support for the video by hitting that like button and let me know in the comment section below and letting me know how I'm doing in my videos. Now, also be sure to check out. Um, I have annotations on the bottom of the screen. Letting you guys, uh, it's it's actually linked, bringing you to my campaign gameplay on the far left, my uh, multiplayer gameplay in the middle, and my uh, other zombies gameplay on the far right of the bottom screen. Um, on the bottom of the screen, my bad. Alright, so we're playing on town, I'm super excited, the box is over there. Um, bad place for it to be, really bad. So what we'll do is basically guys, um, let me start the video by saying town is probably one of my favorite Black Ops 2 maps, um, zombies at least. Um, and um... There's only one, re one reason for that, and that's because it has Pack-A-Punch. Now, um, as you guys know, um, the other Zombies maps do not um, have a Pack-A-Punch. Um, this is the only map that does have it. Um, not counting Transit, a survival map, but, um, you know, can I get the knife kill? There we go. What I like to do in these low rounds on town is I like to um, kind of knife, the, I like to knife the Zombies only on the first round, then kind of start using my pistol in the second round. That way, um, because the Zombies are on fire and they only take, like, um, I think... When they're, I think when they're caught on fire, they only take uh, five hits in the second round. I think only like three hits in the first round. So we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and knife on the first round. That's what I like to do. And um, where's the last zombie at? Listen for him. Speed, speeds up your life. All right. Let's be close in that room, obviously, and let's go ahead and finish off this little misty rat here. Where's the last one out over there? Where's he at? Come out, zombie. Come out. Where are you at? Over here? Yeah, there you are. I hate how they spawn all the way on the other side of the map. I hate that. Alright, so we beat round one. Sweet. Dolphin got over the lava pit. Sweet, I didn't get caught on fire. Oh, yeah, now I did. <laughs> That's one thing that bothers me about this map, though, especially when you're on the high rounds. The fire will throw you off. And the bad thing about it is that it makes you stop sprinting like this. Like, if I'm in full sprint, the fire will just stop me. Even if I do have stamina up, it'll still stop me. So that kind of sucks. Um. It's not really a major problem, but it does bother a lot of people. Uh, I remember when I got to wave 30 on this map. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. It's a post commentary on um, town. I did get to wave 30. I show you guys. It's I showed like the last, um, for the final nine minutes of the uh, uh, playthrough. Um, I got to around 30. So yeah, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. I'll have that. That's in the description below. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and go in the description below and look for it. It'll say. Um, It'll say like post commentary, post commentated uh, round 30 playthrough. So go check that out if you haven't done so already. Um, I, I also did, if you haven't seen the, 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 the round 30, um, ooh, didn't mean to kill him. If you have seen the wave 30 uh, post commentary, then um, you guys know that I told you guys I was going to do a uh, live commentary on this map. Um, so I'm really. God dang it. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead. So yeah, I told you guys that I was going to do a live commentary on this map, um, because I wanted to see if I can get to wave 30 again. Um, maybe we can do that in this playthrough, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of hoping we do. Ooh, my max ammo, nice. Alright, so what we'll do is we're kind of close to our goal. Our goal is 32.50 points, because um, then that's just enough to actually go ahead and open that door up the stairs and go get Juggernaut. So, I'm going to aim for that. Um, what we can do is... We can kind of get him in like a nice little horde, and just kind of like spray him with the pistol. That would actually be that would actually have, actually work out very well. Now I really wish the box was by Quick Revive. Quick Revive is in that building over there. Um, so yeah. Now if we could, I would really wish the box would spawn over there. That would have been really helpful. Oh no! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! What do we do? Ah! Run! 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 I don't have Juggernaut or any perks at all, so it's kind of harder to horde in this little area right here. Instant kill. Oh, I thought I saw two power ups drop. Oh well, instant kill. Instant kill is always good. Grab it and go. Oh, red face, red face. We're 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 red face. Wait, do not go for the knife kill. That was very stupid. Knife. Knife. All right, we have just enough. Let's go. They can't jump up the uh, corner, so that's good. Gonna buy ourselves some juggernaut. There we go. Now, knifing is gonna be a whole lot easier. Um, because we now take four hits to get downed like a boss. 
Now, we still gotta be careful. <laughs> a lot, so. Yeah, Nuke! Top five! Yeah. Alright, now our next goal is quick revive, so what we'll do is. Um, I think we need. Okay, the door is 750, I believe. Is it? 750? Yeah. So 750, 500. Uh, let's go for 2,500 points. That should be enough. And then what we'll do is we'll go with the box. Um, whenever we make a crawler or something like that. How much ammo we got left in this thing? Oh, we got a good bit. That's good. Um, I don't know how good this pistol is on this round if I started to, like, you know, shoot knife. But, uh, we're gonna find out. Now, I really should buy an M4. Actually, an M14 would actually help out a lot. I should buy that. Um, yeah, we'll go buy an M14 whenever we get, like, let's get these zombies in a cord first, then we'll go and buy the M14 and just turn around and start spraying. It'll work out very, very nicely. We we'll still use a pistol, though. I'm not gonna stop using my lovely pistol. I'm probably not gonna pack a punch it. Um, a lot of people, like, I, a lot of people ask why don't I pack a punch on this map, or, I mean, why don't I pack a punch the Mustang and Sally on this map? The answer is simple, is because this map is just so freaking small. I just don't want to, you know, have, have Mustang and Sally and, um, you know, shoot the zombie for it and get down. So that, that would, that's why I don't pack a punch it. It's just that the map is so compressed, and I feel that I'm always in a tight space in this map. So that's why I don't pack a punch um, the M911 as much as I do in this map, as I do in, like, a, a map like Nuketown. So um, let's go and get this uh, double points right here. <laughs> Had like a beat going on there. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> For the win. Ho oh. ho. Can't get my trigger finger going on here. Ooh, I'm coughing. Let's go and grab it. Oh, are we gonna grab it? Are we really? Are we really? Yeah, we are. I guess we'll go ahead. Whoa, dude, that was saw that. It's like annihilated all those zombies. Actually, you know what? Yeah. We have 6,000 points. Holy crap. It's well over enough to open this. And go ahead and grab Quick Revive. Now, we also want those Galvan Knuckles. So, what we'll do is... We'll go ahead and buy the M14. Um, we'll buy the M14. Use the M14. And hopefully, by the end of this round, we should have 6,000 points. 2,000 points should not be a lot um, for... You know, since for round five, now there are a lot, a good amount of zombies are gonna spawn. I hope so. Uh, we should get well over uh, six thousand points to get the Galvan Knuckles. So um, yeah, whenever I get those Galvan Knuckles, I'll be rocking and freaking rolling. And fourteen's a boss. I don't care what anybody says. Now, if you guys have pack a punch, it's actually a pretty cool pack a punch. It's pretty powerful too, believe it or not. So let me get out of that little death zone over there. Um, ooh, another level points. All some stars. Circle! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I gotta, gotta, gotta. Trying to hit me from the side, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 7,000 points. Hell to the earth. What we should do, like, what, what, I, what I should do is, I should just go ahead and buy the Galvan Knuckles now. So that way I can actually use them a little bit more. Instead of just waiting until the next round to start. And, uh, we'll do that now, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy them. I never would. Yeah. And we have a thousand points still left over. Usually when I buy them, I have like just six that like I have even six thousand points. Hide behind the bar. Oh yeah. Now what I like about the Galvan Knuckles is that they don't if there are zombies on fire, it doesn't explode. That's awesome. Now what we can do is we can probably go for two more yeah, we'll go for two more rounds and we'll end the part. Um, I'm probably gonna make my uh, zombies episode, like my zombie parts, a little bit longer. I'm probably gonna reach. I'm coming, uh, gonna reach for like probably 12 or 13 minutes a piece, and uh, a part I mean. And um, so yeah, so we have Galvan Knuckles, so we can probably speed past them more quicker, quickly. The Galvan Knuckles are always a good bet because it's one punch kill to round 14, and that's when you know it's really good. So um, so until wave 14. You can just melee it up a zombie, and it takes one shot to kill. So, um, these Galvan Knuckles are way better than a Bowie knife. Um, obviously, that's why they're more expensive. And let's go and punch this. Ooh, max ammo. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. What you doing over here, zombie? You should be with the group. Alright. Now, this little area is, like, my area. I do so well in this area. That's why... This is the area I got to on my, when I had that Wave 30 playthrough. Let's go and make our way around these guys right here. 
you are gonna get punched in the face. Now we can like punch you like that. Kind of get you out over here. Engine run. You gonna get popped, and so are you. <laughs> These things are so much fun. Now I wonder. I don't think you can, but I wonder if you can like actually revive people with these things. Because it looks like it looks like a defibrillator a little bit. There we go. Getting some more points with the pistol. Actually, you know what we should do is just like waste all the ammo for it. We'll waste all the ammo for it. Then go hit the box. Uh, we'll tra trade this out and then we'll um go for speed cola. That's our next goal. So box, then speed cola. Awesome, we got a plan set. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna trigger finger on. Oh, bad trigger finger. I don't know what's going on. No. Nice. Insta kill. Come at me, bros. Punch, punch. Oh, I love these things so much. So much fun. All right. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stop the part after this round. So. Um, while this part's fixing to end, I'm gonna go ahead and say if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so now. Um, also be sure to hit that like button if you should show your support for the video. And I got a Barrett M8281. So, to end the part, I'm gonna hit the box one more time. Um, also be sure to like the but like the video, it all helps out. RPG, um, no I do not want that. Um, Subscribe to my channel for more Black Ops 2 gameplay. Hit the like button to show you support for the video. Also, be sure to check out my campaign walkthrough. Um, check out my multiplayer gameplay. And check out other zombies gameplay. I will see you guys in part 2 of my survi live survival playthrough of town. And also, be sure to do everything I said. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other campaign. Like my campaign, multiplayer, and other zombies gameplay. See you guys in part 2, guys. Peace out.